Hello, it's Bros, and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Almendril. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your old mechanical hard drive to a new faster SSD. For that end, I'm going to use this computer. This is a Windows 10, can be Windows 11, Windows 8, doesn't make a difference. The process is going to be the same. By the way, this is kind of an old computer. You're going to see it in a few more seconds. So we're going to, to check the characteristics of this computer. So as you can see, it's an i3, that's a model, and the uh, memory is 12 gigabytes, which I added the same day, right? So the next thing I'm going to show you is the SSD itself. The brand is Kingston. I have used it in the past. They are really great. I am going to leave the link in the description below for it if you need it. By the way, the size can, the size is 500 gigabytes, but can be any, any other. One terabyte, two terabytes doesn't make a difference, right? The other thing that we're going to need is the SATA to USB cable so we can connect the, the SSD to the computer. So as you can see, this is the way you do it. And I made a mistake, of course, when I don't make mistakes. So that's how you do it. Again, I'm going to leave the link in the description below for both, all right? So the next step is to connect this USB to an available port on your computer. So allow me a few seconds so you can see it. And I did it just there. So now allow me a few seconds to come back and we are going to see the hard drive of this computer. As you can see, this computer has two partitions. It's only one physical hard drive, but it has two. The size is 500 gigabytes and it's partition C and D. C, as you know, is where the operating system is. And D can be anything, your games, your pictures, or whatever that you may like. So for this example, I'm going to clone them both, but if you only have one, the process is going to be the same. If you have three, it's going to be the same. Just make sure that the new SSD that you bought is going to be enough to have all the information that your old hard drive has, okay? Next, we're going to open a web browser and then we go to the web address that you can see there. Don't worry, I'm going to leave the link in the description below for it. So as you can see, the version is 8 as of the making of this video. In the future, you may see 9 or 10. Scroll down and you have to download Reflect 8 Free Chrome Air Shell. Then I already have it. As you can see there, it's very small. So you double click on it. It's going to take a few seconds to open. And after that, you can select where you do you want to install the software, where, where you want to download it first. So I'm going to leave it as the default D partition. You can select anything that you may like, and then you go to download at the bottom there. So after that, the video is sped up in this part, so you don't have to wait all the real time. So it took around one minute or so to download. After that, you're going to see this. Do you want to install this software? Yes, I want. Next, you're going to see this, and the only thing you have to do is click on next. So then it's going to start the installation. You click next one more time. You accept the license, of course. And then this is the important part. You have to select personal use and then agree to the following that you're going to use it personal. So the one above is the example of the key. So you go next and here you have to type your, I, your IP address, your, um, your email. OK, so use any email that you may like. And then you're going to go and then you click on get my code. After that, it's going to tell you an email has been sent to this email and check for further instructions. Don't forget to check your junk folder just, just in case. All right. So then you're going to receive an email like this. I don't know why I covered the date. It was April. And you see your registration code is. So they are eight digits. You copy that. You come back here. You copy, you paste them over here and you go next. Now we're going to see like an, an alert over there. And we have to uncheck this, register this installation. So we go next, install desktop shortcut. Yeah, that's fine with me. Next, install. So this one took some time, like two or three minutes, because this hard drive is old, the computer is old. So don't worry about that. It's going to it's going to install it anyway. Uh, the video is sped up in this part, so you're going to see it go by super quick like that. And after that finish, you don't have to press anything. And it's going to show you this. Launch now and you click on finish. After a few seconds, it's going to open and this is how it looks. Now, uh, on the top, you can see the hard drive that we already have. It has, you can see four partitions, but the ones that you normally see is C and D, as you can see over here. So in this part, you, you might have more, you, you might have less, but you, you are going to have at least two. So for example, if you don't want the D partition, you can uncheck it. You, you see checks under each uh, partition over there and you can select what you want to clone. For example, I uncheck the D one here, but I want to clone everything on this uh, on this hard drive so you can see how it works. I'm going to select it, but again, it's, it's up to you what you want to clone, all right? So then you go to clone this disk, 
You click on it and it's going, you, then you select the a disk to clone to, and it's going to recognize the Kingston we have installed a few seconds ago. Well, not installed, connected a few seconds ago. So you select that, you go next. It's not going to show anything here, except you'll this clone. So you go next, and here it's going to give you an overview of what it's going to do. So the source disk, as you can see, is the old one, the MBR disk, and the destination is the Kingston over there. All right, so it's going to give you more information. You can, you can check it out. Then you go finish. And now this is important. Uh, run this backup now. Well, yes, I want to do it right now. Or and this one I never really needed the save and XML backup definition. I really never needed that. So I'm just going to click OK. I mean, you uncheck it and you leave run the backup now checked. So you click OK and now it's going to start. So this process is going to take some time depending how old your hard drive is, how much information you are cloning, and the speed of your USB. Okay, this video is sped up here, but I'm going to stop it and come back when this is almost done. Welcome back. So as you can see, it took 41 minutes to complete. This is going to depend on how big your hard drive is, how old, and the speed of USB. All right, so you click OK. You don't have to do anything else. You can close it. And as you can see, the top one, the old hard drive, is exactly the same as the bottom one, the SSD, the new one. The size is a little different because the SSD is, is a little smaller than the old hard drive, OK? But after all, besides that, it looks the same. So I'm going to shut down the computer because we don't have anything else to do here as the cloning has been successful. Now, allow me a few seconds and I'm going to show you that the SSD is connected, the computer is off, now I'm going to disconnect it. So this is how it looks. Now I'm going to proceed to disconnect everything from this uh, tower PC. So everything as fast as I can. And now, and then we are going to replace it, all right? So this is on the table now. I'm going to remove the screws on the back and now I'm going to remove the case. So the first thing I'm going to show you is that I'm not wearing any jewelry or watches and I'm going to discharge myself of any static electricity that I might have in my body by touching the metallic case for a few seconds. That way I don't damage the circuitry. So as you can see, this is the fan for the processor, this is the power supply, and this is all the cables. So this is the old uh, hard drive, the mechanical one, and it has two screws. So using my loyal Philips screwdriver, I'm going to remove them really quickly. And now uh, we're going to proceed. In your case, you might have more screws and I'm trying to remove it. But of course, I'm making a mistake. I have to disconnect the cable first. That way it's going to be, it's going to be way easier. After that, I'm able to remove it. And as you can see, this is a Seagate 500 gigabytes. All right, so this is the old hard drive. Now, this is the new one, the Kingston, and we're going to start it. Something I tried to do, but I failed. I'm not in my lab right now, I'm somewhere else is that these screws from the computer itself, they don't fit to the SSD. So I was not able to find new ones or smaller ones. And I was able to do it later, but for this video, I was not able to do it. Then we're going to leave the SSD like hanging. Okay, you are, please don't do that. Always do it the, the best as the best you can. But in this case, that's what I found. Now I connected everything, but I realized the cables are like tangled. I, Ah, I don't like that very much. So I'm going to do a little of cleaning really quickly as fast as I can over here. And after that, I'm going to connect the power and the SATA cable over there. And like I said, I was not able to add it to the, the metallic part, but that's how I left it. Now I'm going to proceed to cover it. I'm going to put back the screws on the back. And then after that, I'm going to put it I'm going to connect everything back, okay? So after that, I'm going to turn on the computer one more time, and you see the Intel logo because the motherboard is an Intel, and this part might be slow for you, the, the videos is sped up, because it's the first time we are booting for the new SSD. So as you can see, I can log into Windows, I'm going to go to this PC or my PC, I always forget what it's called, and you can see the C and D partitions, okay? So it's working. Something you can do if you are going from a smaller hard drive to a bigger one, uh, you can check over here. You can go to computer management. You look for it. You click on that, computer management, and you're going to see this. After that, you go to disk management. It's going to take a few seconds to load. And here, you, if, you are, if you have more space that is not being used, it, instead of blue, it's going to be black. In this case, we don't have that. So this is the Seagate that we have replaced, as you can see. And that's how you replace or clone, well, replace and clone a hard drive using Macrium free cloning software. 
okay so thank you very much for watching if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe if you have any other comment or questions leave it in the comment section below and as always as you know i'll see you in the next video